Welcome back to How It Works, where we bring you the most exciting and informative content on a wide range of topics. Today, we're taking an in-depth look at the UEFA European Football Championship, commonly known as the Euros, one of the most prestigious football competitions in the world. In this video, we'll discuss the history of the Euros, the tournament format, the qualification process, and some of the most memorable moments from past championships. So let's kick off. The UEFA European Football Championship, or the Euros, is the premier national team competition in European football. Established in 1960, the tournament takes place every four years, with the participating nations competing for the coveted Henri de Leonet trophy. The Euros are organized by the Union of European Football Associations, or UEFA, and have grown in stature and popularity since their inception, now standing as one of the most prestigious and widely viewed football tournaments in the world. The Euros have evolved significantly since their inception, both in terms of the number of participating teams and the format of the competition. Let's take a look at the current tournament format. Before the main tournament, UEFA's 55 member nations compete in a qualification stage to secure their spot in the final competition. The qualification process begins several years before the actual tournament and typically involves a series of round-robin group stages, followed by playoffs for some of the teams. The host nation or nations are granted automatic qualification. The main tournament begins with the group stage, where the 24 qualified teams are divided into six groups of four teams each. Each team plays three matches within their group, with the top two teams from each group and the four best third-place teams advancing to the knockout stage. The knockout stage consists of a round of 16, quarter-finals, semi-finals, and the final match. In this stage, matches are single elimination, with the winners progressing to the next round and the losers being eliminated from the tournament. In the event of a draw, extra time and if necessary, a penalty shootout are used to determine the winner. The two remaining teams compete in the final match, with the winner being crowned the European champion and receiving the Henri de Leyenne trophy. The qualification process for the Euros is designed to determine the 24 teams that will compete in the final tournament. With UEFA currently having 55 member nations, the qualification stage is an intense and competitive affair. The process typically involves the following steps. First, the draw. Before the qualification stage begins, the 55 UEFA member nations are divided into several groups based on their UEFA national team coefficients. The coefficients are calculated based on each nation's performance in previous international competitions, ensuring that teams are evenly matched in the qualification groups. Next is the group stage. The teams in each group play a round-robin format, with each team playing every other team in their group both home and away. Teams receive 3 points for a win, 1 point for a draw, and 0 points for a loss. Once the group stage matches are completed, the teams are ranked based on their point totals. The top team from each group automatically qualifies for the Euros, while the second place teams and the best ranked third place team proceed to the playoffs. The playoffs are a series of single elimination matches, with the winners securing the remaining spots in the final tournament. The Euros have a rich history filled with iconic moments and legendary players who have left their mark on the tournament. Here are just a few of the many memorable moments and players who have defined the Euros over the years. Michael Platini's performance in 1984 French football legend Michael Platini delivered an astonishing performance in the 1984 Euros, scoring an incredible nine goals in just five matches. This record still stands as the highest number of goals scored by a single player in a single European Championship tournament. The Danish surprise in 1992. Denmark's unexpected victory in the 1992 Euros remains one of the biggest surprises in the tournament's history. The Danish team, which only qualified for the tournament due to the disqualification of Yugoslavia, 
went on to defeat reigning champions Germany in the final, securing their first ever European Championship title. Greece's underdog triumph in 2004. The 2004 Euros saw another unexpected winner as the unheralded Greek national team shocked the football world by defeating Portugal in the final. Greece's disciplined defensive play and tactical prowess paved the way for their historic victory. Spain's Golden Era The Spanish national team enjoyed an unprecedented period of dominance from 2008 to 2012, winning back-to-back -back European championships and a World Cup in between. With a squad featuring the likes of Harvey, Andres Iniesta and Ike Casillas, Spain's possession-based style of play known as Tiki Taka became synonymous with football excellence. Cristiano Ronaldo Heroics for Portugal Portuguese superstar Cristiano Ronaldo has been a dominant force in the Euros throughout his career, leading Portugal to their first ever European Championship title in 2016. His leadership and goal-scoring prowess have been instrumental in Portugal's success on the European stage. The UEFA European Football Championship has had a significant impact on the world of football, showcasing the talent and skill of European nations and providing a platform for some of the game's greatest players to shine. The Euros have also served as a catalyst for the growth and development of football in participating nations inspiring young players and fostering a sense of national pride and unity. As the Euros continue to evolve and expand, the tournament remains a celebration of football at its highest level and a testament to the passion and spirit that defines the beautiful game. So there you have it. In this video, we've explored the history, format and qualification process of the UEFA European Football Championship as well as some of the unforgettable moments and legendary players that have left their mark on the tournament. The Euros represent the pinnacle of European football, showcasing the skill, talent and passion that make the sport so beloved across the continent and around the world. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history and excitement of the UEFA European Football Championship. If you enjoyed this video and found it informative, please like, share and subscribe to How It Works for more engaging and insightful content. We'll see you in the next video.